Hello! In this video, I will tell you how to make a small cardboard ice cream shop. A few days ago, an ice cream stand made entirely out of cardboard and paper went viral on TikTok. I love the idea, so I thought it would be a good idea to share with you how to make one. For you to make it, if you liked it as much as I did or just if you are bored, it is also a good idea that you can do. We will start by making the base, the cooler or stand. So we will need a cardboard rectangle of quarante, 3 by 12.5 cm and several strips of cardboard of 12.5 cm and several strips of cardboard 6 cm wide. Now glue these cardboard strips all around the rectangle to try to form a little box. If you have a small box in your house, you can also use it. And you don't have to do this anymore, just adjust the sizes. Before forming the whole box, I made some marks at 10 cm, 17.5, 25, 32.5 and 38 cm because this way I will divide my box to make all the compartments. In the same way horizontally, I divided the first space in two and the fifth space in three parts. That's how I got it. You can make your cooler the size you want or the size that suits you best with the measurements you need. I'm just giving you the measurements I used in case you want to make one just like mine. Now in the marks I made on the inside of the box, I glued more of these 6 cm wide strips of cardboard. I recommend using a thick cardboard or joining two thin cardboard so that your box is not so fragile or well your ice cream shop. On the last face of the box, the smallest one, I glued a small piece of cardboard with two small holes that I made with the tips of the scissors. In this space, we will put the little cones on one side. To my ice cream parlor, we will put a small awning or a little roof. This was not on the ones I saw, so you can leave it off if you want. To make it, I cut out a cardboard rectangle of 10 by 43 centimeters. On the edge of the base of the rectangle with a small pot, I drew half circles. I placed these figures very close to each other. On the opposite side from where we made the circles, I drew a horizontal line at 2 cm from where we made the circles. And with the tips of the scissors, I marked this line so that it would be easier to fold in this part. Now I cut out the half circles. With this, I am trying to give more of a canopy shape to this little piece of cardboard. It will look something like this. Next, we are going to glue some sticks to the top two corners of the box. These sticks are 20 cm long. Put a lot of silicone or glue on them so they won't come unglued. On top of these sticks, we have to glue the little cardboard canopy. The part that we folded should help you to make this easier since this little tab we made is the one that will stick to the sticks this way. And that's it. Now we have formed the ice cream parlor. We just need to fill in these spaces. So far my ice cream parlor looks more like a toasty center because of the little drawings on the cardboard. Hey, if you would like me to make a cardboard toasty centro, please give many likes to this video and in the next video we could do it. You can leave your ice cream parlor like this or line it with colored sheets and you can even paint it. The ones I saw I liked because the cardboard was very noticeable and that makes them look more rustic. But in this case, I'm going to paint mine because I have to remove those logos of the chips. I decided to paint it silver to make it look like one of those giant refrigerators you find in ice cream stores. I decorated the roof with colored leaves. It looks terrible right now, but once the glue dries, I will remove the excess paper so it will look like a roof or canopy again. To make the ice cream, you will need to make small equal boxes. I recommend you to look on the internet for rectangular or quadrangular prism molds you only have to print these modes and with that you form your boxes 
I will leave you a link to the mold that I used. This mold, I modified it a little to fit the entire sheet. In my case, these figures will measure the height and will have a base of 6 cm on each side. Another option is to look for a tutorial on how to make them. Just make sure they are the right size to fit in your box or stand. Once you have your molds color two of these rectangles or well two sides of this prism with the types of ice cream you want. You can even draw the four sides or the four sides with a different flavor of ice cream on each side. I only drew two on each prism. And as I have three figures, this means I will have six different flavors of ice cream. Now we are going to line with masking tape all this part we drew and cut it out. As I had already told you, I modified these molds a little so I had to make some corrections so that they could be assembled. But if you do not modify the molds from the internet, you will not have problems. Just follow the mold. Next, we have to fold along all the lines of this figure. Once the folds are super well marked, it is time to form the figure. You can do it with silicone or glue or tape. I recommend that if you want to make your ice cream shop, start making these figures and then you base on the measures of these to make your shelf because you can even get boxes already made at home and simply adapt them to fit these ice cream squares. Before you completely close the prism, you have to stuff them. You can use cotton, cloth, napkins or whatever you have. Just make sure it's like fluffy. Hey, can you guess what this pink with purple and blue ice cream is? Write in the comments what you think it is and at the end I will tell you what kind of ice cream it is. The only clue I will give you is that it is not a very common flavor. Make sure your ice cream will fit in the box. It will go right in the three spaces in the middle. To make the ice cream balls on paper, we will draw 12 circles of approximately 4 cm in diameter each. I am using a small lid to guide me. As I have been telling you, these measurements are only a guide. You can make the figures of the size you want. Now paint each pair of circles in the same way you drew the ice cream. The truth is that I went way outside the crack of the circle. But that doesn't matter because at the end we are going to cut them out. Line these circles with more tape and cut them out. Join each pair of circles with more tape. I was sticking small pieces all around the circumference and then I left the space without tape. Here you have to put some stuffing. As I had already told you it can be cotton, napkins, sponge, fabric, etc. Once your circle is well filled, close it with a lot of tape so that it won't break. These circles will simulate the ice cream balls. I will make the little cones with a paper bag but you can use foamy, thin cardboard or even color some white sheets. I cut out two little rectangles and then I drew the squares that have the wafers or cones. Here it doesn't matter much the measures because it depends on what size you want them to be. Hey, if you are liking this video and you would like to see more cardboard stands like this one give a lot of likes to this video because I really made an effort so you don't say that I didn't have craft. Well the truth is that I really enjoyed making this ice cream parlor. Although it took me some time to plan it, make it and record it, we have to roll these cardboard rectangles like forming a cone but make sure it's big enough to fit the ice cream scoops. I joined them together with tape and as they were too long I cut them a little. So I only made two because it's a small business. This is optional but if you want you can make the extra ingredients that you will put on your ice cream or toppings. I made some berries, cookies and a topping. I drew these ingredients on a sheet of paper on both sides. Color them. Tape them with masking tape and then cut them out.
Something we are missing in the ice cream shop are little glasses in case the customers do not like the cones. To make them, we will use a cardboard circle of approximately 5 cm in diameter and also a strip of cardboard 6 cm wide. You only have to paste this strip around the circle. I recommend that whenever you are going to paste thick cardboard in a circular figure, first roll it a little so that it is like molding to the circular figure and then it does not look so square. And if you want you can decorate it, I simply glued washi tape around it. Something I really liked was the little bottle of shoe polish because it seems to work so here I am going to show you how to make it. We will need two circles of 5 cm in diameter, a strip of cardboard 10 cm wide, a spring of those that have the feathers that are pressed and a strip of cardboard that is thinner than this spring. You will also need two marbles or large beads. Start gluing the entire strip of 10 cm around the contour of one of the circles. We will form a cylinder. Once it is ready, Add the marbles inside and close this cylinder with the other cardboard circle. Since this figure was already made, I thought I could have used a cardboard roll of those that come inside the toilet paper and just glue small circles on each side to form the cylinder, you can do that. Now comes the difficult part. Here I do not have exact measurements, what I can tell you is that you have to cut a strip of cardboard that measures less wide than the spring, if it measures half the spring is better, first glue this strip forming a small circle on top of the cylinder, then with this same strip we will form another circle much smaller than the previous one, make sure that this circle fits in the center of the other that we had already done. On one of the sides of this small circle glue a little piece of cardboard, it should look like a little lid. Inside the circle that is in the cylinder glue small squares of cardboard. I glued three, one on top of the other. These squares have to be very small. When I was almost finished I realized that my lid was too big, so I cut a little and also cut the circle of the cylinder. Now in the center of the circle on the cardboard squares glue the spring and also glue it to the cap. Before gluing the cap, draw a little black dot to make it look like a spray. Make sure not to put too much silicone or glue to the spring so that it can be pressed. Finally make sure that your spray nozzle works and ready. If you want you can decorate it, but I left it as it was, because I like it to look very rustic. I already told you that I love that everything was made of cardboard. This is supposed to be a shoe polish on the ice cream, although it can also be a spray for a cardboard hairdresser. Next, we will make the tweezers with which we will take the ingredients. To make them, you need two equal strips of cardboard measuring 3 cm wide by 18 long. Glue a strip on the other. To make these tools, I recommend using very thick cardboard to resist more. Now fold the strips in half in this way and in the middle. And in the middle glue a pen or pencil spring. Use some strong glue so that the spring does not come off so easily. You have to consider that these tools are made of cardboard so they may not last long. I say this in case you suddenly see that something comes off, don't worry just glue it again. This way we have these tongs. Finally we will make the ice cream spoon. This was the most difficult for me because at the beginning I had no idea how to make it. We will need a cardboard circle of 5 cm in diameter. We will also need 5 rectangles of 2 by 10 cm. Yes, I know there are only 4 in the video, but you need 5 and a strip of 4 cm wide. Also a toothpick and another little spring. We will begin by gluing the strip of 4 cm around the circle. Remember to mold the cardboard a little so that the figure is more circular. It will look like a small cup. Then glue four of the rectangles as if trying to form a prism. Go to! Should look something like this. Glue this figure to the other little glass that we had already formed. Put a lot of glue. Here it is already taking the shape of a spoon. Cover the handle of the spoon with a little cardboard. 
Then we will make the little thing that makes the snowballs come out. Take the other rectangle of cardboard that we have left and cut one of the sides a little as to be a rounded tip. Place this piece on the spoon and try to give the shape of the spoon in this way. The rounded tip should be inside the spoon. Just in this fold that was formed, put a toothpick in the middle of the cardboard and cut a little bit the stick on the side so that it is not so long. Now we are going to glue this strip to the spoon but we are going to glue it only by the toothpicks. Do not glue the cardboard. Make sure that this piece can be moved. And finally on the handle part we are going to glue another one of these resortitos between the handle and the cardboard strip. This is how it should look, it has to be able to move, you can also not put this little thing and just make the spoon. The last thing I will do is to fill little jars with more decorations for my ice creams and now it's time to assemble your... And now it's time to assemble your ice cream shop. By the way, the flavor of the ice cream that I had asked you to guess is cotton candy. I have even seen that they call it unicorn ice cream, but basically it is three colors ice cream with cotton candy flavor, although it was not as nice as the one they sell. I used to go to a yogurt ice cream store where they even put the cookies in the refrigerator and that always seemed curious to me, that's why I did the same. I also put the cookies in the ice cubes, it's like the refrigerator. Another use I came up with is to turn this into a slime ice cream parlor. For that I covered the ice cream spaces with aluminum foil so I could put the slime there and it wouldn't stick to the cardboard. I like this because it gives it a more ice cream parlor touch, it looks like a refrigerator. Here obviously we can't use the cardboard tools because they will fall apart so we'll use others I have at home. I even have some little cones that came with a purchased slime. And the decorations are the charms that you put on the slime. The slime ice cream parlor is much easier to make because you only need to make the box or the stand.
Which one did you like more? The cardboard ice cream parlor or the slime one? Write it in the comments and also don't forget to give a lot of likes to this video. If you want us to make a cardboard toaster centro or some other cardboard stand, we can even make a pizzeria. Well, write your ideas in the comments and please share this video a lot. That would help me a lot. Well, that's all for today. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it yet and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. See you next time. Bye.